Hey family, welcome back to Kados Tubes. I'm your host Paras, and in today's video, I will take you through a new DRC20 platform in which you can mint and deploy DRC20 tokens, which are the new token standard on Dochain. Now, this is one of the platform that I discussed earlier, and you should check out this video by clicking on the link below in the description to know what are DRC20 token and how it works and today I will take you through a brand new platform in which you can do the same but with a different wallet and with the same processes. So let's get into the details. Now before I start remember to press the subscribe button and press the bell icon if you haven't done already and if you are someone who is looking for the crypto community of like-minded people why are you waiting more just click on the link below in the description of this video and join our brand new telegram community of like-minded people that will help you grow in the crypto market now let's talk about this new platform so this was the old platform this is drc20.org i talked a lot about it and created several videos educating my subscribers and viewers how you can deploy and mint drc20 token and the potential of it you can watch these videos definitely it will help you get started even if you are new to blockchain or cryptocurrency this video will take you through each and every step so don't miss this video and do watch it and now let's go to this new platform which is unielon.com so this platform works similar to that of drc20 platform however it differs in the ui and the wallet that it uses so this is Unilon, the DRC20 wallet of choice. It can mint, store and transfer DRC20 tokens and Cardinals NFT. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download this wallet right in front of you and will take you through the same process and show you how you can mint and deploy DRC20 tokens using UniElon. And then in the second part of this video, which I publish later, I will transfer my tokens from one wallet to another to show you how effective is the transfer working for DRC20 tokens. So let's get started. Let's download this in front of you and then go with the next step. So add to Brave. So I am downloading this wallet extension. This is the new wallet and now i think it has been downloaded yes and now i need to open it up so this is my dpal wallet so this is uni elon so i need to create new wallet and set my password mm, okay so this is the password let me take the screenshot set for sample i saved my key continue okay legacy type address choose this address by default and continue now it looks somewhat similar to that of dpal wallet so you can see this wallet right over here it is showing the drc20 token so whatever token that i purchased from this website or any other website supporting drc20 token it will reflect here so this ui is kind of same than dpal wallet let me show you the dpal wallet so the first impression of mine is I do like DPAL wallet because I did a lot of transaction and they have more features they have added recently about minting Dogeners, DRC20 balance, DRC20 transfer and all the transaction record are already here and if I check this wallet Uni Elon I think it is comparatively new let's just see its features connected side network live network okay so it is somewhat similar to that of DPAL. Again, both these wallets will support DRC20 tokens. So you can transfer your token between DPAL and your Uni Elon wallet. That should work. And let's go to the DRC20 token. So these are all the DRC20 token listed right over here. So their UI is quite neat as compared to Dogeners. But Dogeners have a bit of logo there, a showcase of logo which can't be seen in this Uni Elon wallet. You can see right over here. So both have kind of similar features. And if you want to mint any token here, you need to go to in progress. Once you go to in progress, you can see all the tokens which are still available for minting. And as I say, as a rule of thumb, I always say, always check the number of holders. If the holders volumes are very high and it is already about to complete its mint, that means the token might have potential once the DRC20 marketplace starts. So here I can choose this token, which is meme. And if I mint it, 
it will kind of follow the similar process as that of that DRC20 token. So you can see here, I am minting meme. I can also edit it and use any token that I want to mint. But in this case, for this step, I can mint 1000 token in one go, which means I will receive 1000 token in the first mint. So repeat mint, which means I am not going to repeat it 30 times, just want to repeat it one time. If I do this and next, this is what you will get. So P means protocol, which is DRC20. Operation is mint, which means there are three types of operation, mint, deploy and transfer. So I am minting, so that's why operation is mint. Tick is meme, amount is 1000. So I will receive 1000 meme token in my wallet. If I click next, it will take me through this page and I need to pay this fees, which is equivalent to 1.644 Dodge or 0.11 dollar. I can submit and pay and then I will receive the token into my wallet. So this step I have shown for DRC20 tokens using DPL wallets. You can watch that video to understand how the transfer is done. If you are facing any problem, remember to comment below or join my Telegram community. I will help you and the people there will help you to get started with DRC20 tokens. So you can already see I have done a lot of transaction and sent a lot of token during testing this wallet and same i will do with this after i just set up my things now there is another option that i would like to highlight and that is inscribe so in this option i need to click on drc20 and once i click it if you have any token to mint if you know that token is let's say xyz you can mint it if it's minting is live or you can deploy which means you can create your own token you can enter the supply let's say so 10 million and leave it per mint i can put it like 1000 so this is what you can do you can create your own token and click next and pay the amount once you pay the amount your token is ready to mint the tick is already existing here so let me type xyz2 and click next so again here the operation is changed it's a protocol drc20 operation is deploy again last time it's mint this time it's deployed tick is xyz2 which i choose maximum supply is 10 million and limit is thousand so again this is very easy you can create your own token and for this it is charging 6.65 dodge so this is quite costly compared to doing it right over here. I think the network cost is high, but then again, you can check on different time and mint those tokens. So that's how you can use this. Now in the second video, what I'm going to do is compare or transfer the tokens from DPL wallets to Uni Elon wallet. So I have a list of tokens which are already minted by me. So you can see right over here, all these tokens are minted by me and I am going to send some of these tokens to this wallet. And after that, I will create a video and show you how it's done. So this is a brief about Unilon. Remember, if you want to learn about BRC20 token, which are Bitcoin based standard, all the links are shared in the description of the video. Do watch it and also do watch the video shared on the end screen. All this video will help you get started with DRC20 token. So with that, I complete my video. I see you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do thumbs up and let's meet in the next video. Thank you.